money make the bitch. I just put you hundred on the kick, fifty hundred on the kick. Marshall King, nigga. Missy, I'll be done, nigga. I'm on my black young smooth, bitch, 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 bitch with all me young nigga. My money making Mitch, H boogie with the bricks, Calvin with the hits. I'm coming, taking nigga shit. Going down, man. It's infantry films. You know what I'm saying? We got Young Heezy. Young Heezy, tell us about yourself, man. How you get that name, man? Well, I got this name originally originated from my pop's name. His name was Heezy Leo. He was a musician, artist, or whatever you want to call it. And I, once I started rapping, I figured I'll carry his legacy, so I just shortened his name and called myself Young Heezy. Right now, we in Dallas, you know what I'm saying? But let the people know where you originated from. Like, where you from? You know what I'm saying? Where, you, where your roots? That's about. Hold off the tick. Somewhere 90 miles from Houston. Right by Beaumont. A lot of people don't really know about it. Same place. Pimp and Bun Bill from. Hold off the tick. You got my heart. No bitch can't tear us apart. I'm gonna put the whip in part. You gonna climb on top this deep. Are there any uh, inspirations that you look up to? Far. Right, any pioneers in the rap game that kind of inspired you to go ahead and, and take this route? Freddie Gibbs, you know, the niggas that be doing shit that, that keep the money coming in year after year after year. Ross, right, right, right. Those right. type of niggas I believe. Oh, really? I like the trill gear, man. That shit fly as motherfucker. Appreciate it, man. This is my set, actually, right here. This, this is my uh, limited edition. You gotta get at me personally if you want this right here. You know what I'm talking about? I hear what you say, man. We appreciate everybody that uh, currently support us right now. If you haven't, trip your diabetes, go get all the merch. We got right. a lot of them. Hell yeah, hell yeah, man. So the music scene, man, you've been doing your thing. You know what I'm saying? Right. I've been paying attention to a lot of the, uh, the videos you're releasing. Uh, I think one of them joints called Broke. Yeah, that's my uh, latest visual, Broke. Broke is a song off my EP that I dropped in August. You can go get that on Gorilla.com. And it's a temporary statement that everybody goes through. You know what I'm talking about? Real song. Already, man. That's everybody real shit. That's real shit, man. So, uh, as far as the mixtape game, like, uh, have you ever had any singles out, like, as far as on the radio stations or whatever, or any online mixtapes? Uh, online mixtapes that I, I haven't been had. I haven't had any places, and I haven't been on the radio yet. Okay, okay, okay. In due time, though. In due time. Rick. Been doing your thing with the visuals, man. What's up with that, man? Already, already. So what's up? Uh, what, what kind of projects can we find? Like, what any specific titles that we can look for? Uh, for videos. Yeah, like videos, music, like as far as the mixtapes. Mixtapes, huh? Nessie Volume One, Ghetto Nightmares, Nessie Volume Three. Uh, I got several just single releases: Spotify, Google Play, uh, Apple Music, iTunes. I got music pretty much everywhere. Uh, uh, SoundCloud. All right, what, what's up with uh, any traveling? Any, any new places you, you've been to lately? Colorado, Denver, Colorado, Aurora, Colorado. Uh, I know that was a hell of an experience right there. Take a look at my Baton Rouge. Baton Rouge, this song was 22 Savage and shit. Y'all go get that off Hot Tones. Young Easy featuring 22 Savage. Already. Y'all went to Baton Rouge, Colorado. Uh, back and forth, Dallas, Houston. Uh, I ain't really been too many places yet, man. Been a lot of places in Texas. Right, right. A lot of Texas, I ain't really been. All right, so I, and I know many people might want to know, cause you know the whole, the whole situation with you know, 22 and 21 and all that. But uh, let us know how you got introduced to them. Like, what y'all meet up there? What's that? What well, happened with that? 22, that was a murder case, but it was like self defense, something special. You know what I'm saying? About the shit, it was relatable. You know what I'm saying? And the nigga responded. Once I was 
seen responded, I hit him back like several months later once I seen he wasn't going to actually go to jail for the shit. I hit him up on some music shit about doing the verse and hit it right back. And made it that's real love right there.